hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a new permalink rule uh, or maybe you can edit an existing permalink so let me show you <coughs> how you can do that so first of all what is permalink so um, if you go to the back end of WordPress under the settings section we have the section called permalinks and these permalinks are uh, a way to have a URL uh, which human can read so this is basically uh, to simplify the URLs and uh, by doing this search engine can easily um, crawl to your site so uh, this is why permalinks are necessary so here I have selected that post name and uh, with the selecting post name all the URL of post will be like this site url slash the slug of the post so let me open some more so this one this is how all the post urls are there now what we are going to do is we are going to add a slug uh, based on the post type so let's say this is the post post type so i will add a post slug here and then the slug of the post currently if i try to access this it will simply redirect me to the uh, previous url so uh, to allow a new permalink structure we have to add a new rule that allows us to access that url so for that uh, I have created this repo for WP tips so I am adding more and more things so here in this change permalink I will I will copy hold this file and then I will keep editing my custom plugin so if you don't know how to create a custom plugin a link is coming into the i button so i will paste whole file over here and then i will include that file to the main file so uh, first let's see what is there in this file so first uh, in the init action we have added a rule and this is the uh, regular expression to identify the URL so uh, here we are adding post uh, in the in this after site URL post like this this is post and uh, this one is the regular expression to identify the uh, this after the post section and then we have added index.php name equal to dollar matches of one this is a wordpress thing so if you want to have because here we we have the name of the post uh, different uh, custom rule has different thing so the post has this name post type has this name section and uh, whatever the dynamic part is you have to put like this dollar matches if you have more dynamic part then you can add something like this 
test equal to matches matches two. So what this what uh, this matches this will match this regular expression. So this means this name equal to will be whatever the slug of the post is there. So this is how you can add a rule for post. So the all URL will be will become uh, this will allow us to access uh, this URL like this. Uh, we will, I will explain this a bit later. What is this? But let's see what happens after adding this. I will refresh this. It is still redirecting us to this page. So what we have to do is we have to go to backend again and uh, go to permalinks and we have to resave the permalinks once we resave this let's try to access this url again and now we are able to access this uh, page using this url now uh, let's let's check the urls of this everywhere so if you can see it still don't have the post over here so the next thing is a filter this filter will add a post into the url so this is the post slug post link uh, filter and I have added some conditions like this so if the post type is post then only I am adding slash post to the post name <coughs> so this will convert um, this URL into like this so for previous URL is this site URL slash post slug now this will become site url post and uh, post slug now let me refresh this page again and now if you can see at the bottom left corner the url is with a post slug It will applicable to the backend as well <coughs> if we go to posts see at the bottom left bottom left corner it adds the post slug into the URL let's see what happens with pages I think it will add pages okay so let's say we want to add for the page as well and uh, let's refresh this okay uh, it is not applicable for page I think that's only for post types hold on let's try with books post type <coughs> sorry for the background noise i will add a book and yeah it adds the book slug over here and it is automatically allow us to use this one but uh, for the safer side we can add this rule as well book similar to this let's see what happens it should work 
I am just experimenting right now. So go to permalink. Oh shit. Save it. And refresh. Okay. Uh, it is not allowing us because we are adding the same uh, rewrite rule over here and that's why so for this we should keep as it is let's see what happens yes so this is how you can change permalinks or add a new permalink rule uh, always remember whatever rule you add it should add into the init action so this is how you can change the permalink thanks for watching the video